You in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, his second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior! I don't care if the challenger queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn grows. I'm asking nicely. I don't know what to do, but... Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar! You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Pearl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. This tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? 
Just no more politics. No more delays. Oh well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You all have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to- Look! The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. 
But all Tanakhs can stomach the idea of parlay with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No! The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. The Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile. Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Get to cover! Ah! <laughs>
What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war, Bunny Kong. Move out! Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron for now. Come on, I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Hey, 
Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The Marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. A workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Aloy. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Uh, it's some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Well, I better see what this trial leads. Mm. Following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. Crazy AI that wants to kill everything. And just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. From that door. It looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn?
Hades? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. Yes. Permanently, this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and him too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by Masters. And who are they? Masters look me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Silence do to you, Hades. It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. You know where Silence went? No, he departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia, save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are a deluded extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact, non viable biospheres aborted in years 254, 2161, 2168. So? The that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Is version five. There will be no version six. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. To activate, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason and I... And using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. 
But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super-intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia's safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Silva. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Asram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. I'd step back if I were you. Please step in. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter. I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Aloy. Elizabeth. And Travis Tate. Ooh, boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. 
I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. Well, I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Hold for Looks like the power's off, except for that console. That's Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, power up. Right that doesn't sound good. Looks like this Recluse Spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Guy was a vast superintelligence. He barely expected it. without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. 
close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Yes, well, about that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entering authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me?
This is gonna be fun. Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. If that thing comes down, it's only gonna kill you. I'm letting you have all the fun. What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current. Is it heading for an exit? I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. 
But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. She told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As wood and limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. But not just dying, she's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. No trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred you cave. Get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> she needs rest. You don't have to tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it.
She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they?